evening everyone and welcome to Carols Around St Saviour's and it's great to welcome you. We're going to start with our opening carol which happens to be number one on the sheets. So it's a little town of Bethlehem. Jesus in Isaiah the people walking in darkness has seen a great light on those living in the land of deep darkness a light has dawned for to us a child is born to us a son is given and the government will be on his shoulders and he will be called wonderful counselor mighty God everlasting father prince of peace of the greatness of his government and peace, there will be no end. We're going to sing our next carol, which is number 13, Silent Night, Silent Night. Oh, it's 
issued a decree that a census should be taken of the entire Roman world. This was the first census that took place while Quirinius was governor of Syria and everyone went to their own town to register. So Joseph also went up from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea to Bethlehem, the town of David, because he belonged to the house and the line of David. He went there to register with Mary, who was pledged to be married to him and was expecting a child. And while they were there, the time came for the baby to be born, and she gave birth to her firstborn, a son. She wrapped him in cloths and placed him in a manger, because there was no guest room available for them. We're going to uh, sing our next carol now, and it's carol <laughs> number six. It's this special one that uh, our children l love to sing, but I think everyone likes to sing this one. It's carol number six, Away in a Manger.
that uh, probably a few weeks ago we went up into the loft and brought down the uh, decorations and the Christmas tree and, uh, and all the things for the nativity and we put them up in our house and uh, I wonder if you can if you've heard of a nativity scene somewhere in the world which is surrounded by a rubble of buildings. Have any of you come across that one this year? Where might it be? It happens to be in the Lutheran Church in Bethlehem. You see, Jesus came at a time when there was great trouble and strife. And this year, just the same. In Jesus' home country, there is trouble and strife. And there's, uh, but the message that we have is that Jesus was given the name Emmanuel. Emmanuel, which means God is with us. And can we particularly remember this Christmas time that God is with all those people, wherever they are, who are suffering in the world. And so we're going to sing our next carol, which is Heart the Herald, Angels Sing. It's number 10 on the carol sheet. We've got the, uh, the singers at the back, but we've also got Matt 
and Matt Giddings uh, grew up in our church at St Saviour's. Last year, he travelled a long way to be with us. He was living over in Winchester, but uh, um, during the year, he's moved back to Bournemouth. In fact, uh, what, what do you do, Matt? What's your job? <laughs> I'm a teacher. You're a teacher, that's right. So he's now a teacher in the Bournemouth area, and he's come back to play for us this evening. And in a minute, I'll get you to give him a clap. But tell me, Matt, why do you like singing carols at this time of year? What do you think? Yeah, that's a great question. I, I guess there's so much, uh, there's so much joy uh, at Christmas time. Um, but especially in schools, a lot of that joy is concentrated on uh, you know, present giving and being with family, all stuff which is great and that we can celebrate. But actually, the, the reason for the season is, is Jesus. And one amazing thing I love about carols is that they're something that we uh, you know, sing. Uh, we, we had a carol service where we sang carols, we sang about Jesus. And I just think it's so great that we can, uh, we can come together and remember Jesus, uh, the, the reason for the season, who is um, yeah, the saviour of the world. Well, it's not because there's more chances uh, leading up to Christmas. So, Christmas Eve, we've got a service at 10:30, but in the afternoon at 4:30, we have our Christingle service. That's 4:30 on Christmas Eve, and then in the evening we've got our midnight communion. Midnight communion always starts before midnight. It's 11.15, okay, so that we can be celebrating communion at midnight. So it's 11.15, the midnight communion starts in St Saviour's uh, just next door. So, uh, and then on Christmas Day itself, we have a 10.30 service to celebrate uh, the coming of Jesus. So, uh, uh, that's other opportunities to see the cows. We're going to see one more cow now. want to with some refreshments and uh, I think there's some mince pies and such like in the in the church hall around the side there so if you want to stay on for refreshments and mince pies do go around the corner uh, for some uh, for those refreshments but now we're going to sing our final carol for the evening it's carol number 12 oh come all ye faithful Great carol, but because it's not Christmas Day, we're going to miss out the last verse. So just the first three. <laughs> oh, come, all ye faithful, joyful and triumphant. Oh, come. Oh, come ye to Bethlehem. Come and behold him, born the King of angels. Oh, come, let us adore him. Oh, come, let us adore him. Oh, come, let us Oh, 